So why does she quit? Why does she quit right at the top? Why do women, even when they are right at the top of their career or position, just decide to give it up and just leave? Women leave their position at a far higher rate than men and more often than not, they are then replaced by men. On an average, we are looking at an attrition rate of 31% versus 24%. And it only goes higher as you move up the corporate ladder. By the time uh, one actually reaches the high table or uh, the top level, women leave their jobs at over three times the rate of their male colleagues, which is 24% versus 7%. So why do women quit while right at the top of their profession? There's an actual term which has been coined for it, called the Great Recap. Well, the following have been the words of two women. Nicola Strudgeon, the outgoing First Minister of Scotland, uh, also the first woman First Minister of the country. And second, the former New Zealand Prime Minister, Jacinda Ardern. Both of them, in their respective resignations, said this. Jacinda Ardern signed off, saying, I no longer have enough in the tank. Nicola Strudgeon signed off with, It takes a toll on you and all around you. Nicola Strudgeon and Jacinda Ardern broke and went beyond the proverbial glass ceiling to become the heads of states of their country. And then both of them turned in their papers without being forced out of their office or post or quit while they were facing a major political scandal. None of that. Right at the top, they just decide to give it up all. This is something completely unheard of in the world of politics across the world, not just India, across the world, where politicians will cling on to power till they are picked up and thrown out. But it's quite common when it comes to women and not just in the field of politics who willingly leave the high table that they have worked their entire lives to get a seat on. Why do they do it so easily? Give it up so easily. They put in their life in it. Let's start with the big one. Something with Jacinda Ardern said. There's just not enough in the tank because women have had just too much to do. We are looking first and foremost at working women because it's a massive block of the female workforce. Working mothers are still overwhelmingly saddled with managing their homes, providing family care, primary child care. It's all their responsibility and they're expected to manage this load single-handedly with the weakest of support systems around them. No paid paternal leave, no reliable child care, all with a skewed gender pay gap as well. Working women are twice, twice as likely as their male counterparts to run the household, three times more likely to manage their children's schedule, and eight times more likely to be required to take time off to care for a sick child. They're also three times as likely to volunteer for school or community activities. And all of this is on top of the expectation to perform at work. Women entering the workplace have a huge factor working against them, a presumption of an interest in childbearing, whether they want to, whether they're not. The motherhood penalty that most women pay, as it's often called, many of us have sat through multiple job interviews where we have paid the motherhood penalty even without wanting to ever have a child, sometimes without even also being mothers. So stress in managing work and family after pregnancy, the double burden of work and home, 92% of the daily household tasks are done by women in India. Gender inequality in work, as in many cases, women have to work twice as hard as compared to men to prove that they are good enough. Support systems and social pressures are other key reasons. There is pressure on women to be an ideal woman, an ideal daughter, an ideal daughter-in-law, and then an ideal employee. Many women also do not have a proper support system to take care of their children while they're at work. So ultimately, it's not just Jacinda or Nicola. Most of us at the top of our game, women at the top of our game, knowing how much we have sacrificed to reach the top of our game, very often are an inch away from saying, I no longer have enough in the tank to carry on. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today News Mode.